huge, uh, huge win. Obviously, you know, both teams really had it cooking uh, uh, early. Not, not a ton of defense, but you got to give credit to some of the offense, too. I mean, there were some big-time shots, you know, made in that game. And obviously, he really just got it going early and, and uh, uh, um, played phenomenal for us. But I thought, you know, in the second half, we really had to dig in defensively, and, and uh, we did. In the second half, we found a way down the stretch to get the stops we needed. Uh, um, I think they shot 37% in the second half, and we were able to slow them down. And by doing that, and we kind of kept our poise on offense, we were able to pull away late and kind of hold them off. Talk a little bit about Reed's game tonight. How often do you see a, a performance like that? It's good. I'm just disappointed he didn't get 40. You know, we tried to, you know, run a, a thing and stuff. No, he he was terrific. I mean, he just plays with so much confidence and poise, and 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 uh, uh, um, you know, he found himself open early and got into a rhythm, and that's what he does. I mean, he can really, really score the ball, and every time, you know, they were making a run, he'd come back and make another play, and it was just a great, great effort here. Okay. What you think so too, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, the energy in the second half, especially from guys like uh, uh. Nick. And Kind of what they've been doing. Yeah. How significant was that? It was. It, it, it was huge, all those guys. And I thought Ori had some huge offensive rebounds, you know, down the stretch. Again, that, that uh, um, I thought when it was gut check time down the stretch, we really made some plays. Obviously, CJ had 10 rebounds for us tonight. And I really thought DT was aggressive, too. I thought he did a nice job attacking tonight. And, and uh, um, it was a great performance. And, you know, we knew Indiana State was going to come in here ready to rock. And it was a huge game for both teams. And uh, uh, that's a big win for this ball club. Reed, you know, just talk a little bit about what was going through your mind, what was working out there for you tonight, especially yeah. a lot of the early shots were really contested too. Yeah, and early in the game, you know, obviously we got a few good looks, and as a player, you know, if you get a few open looks, you kind of just, your confidence builds throughout the game, but I thought we, you know, it was a back and forth game first half, they were making real, some really tough shots too, but I think we ran, we executed pretty well, which uh, credit our team to being able to give me the open shots, and then obviously we instilled our will, and then as the game went on, we pulled away, and the, the looks kept were, were there in the second half too, which was uh, uh, also a credit to our team. So I think we did a good job executing, and um, yeah, that's just how some of those games go. Is if you get a feel for it, and they keep getting open, you just keep throwing them up there. At what point did you have that feel? You know, uh, that yeah, in probably in the within the first media in the first in the second half, just because um, coming out of halftime is always an adjustment to new. Ha uh, you have time to sit, new basket, you know, it's obviously an adjustment, but um, after that first media timeout, I kind of, you know, had that feeling that it was rolling. And really, to be honest, he did in practice on Monday. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, you know, he, he's played really well and shot the ball really well in practice and obviously, you know, got some looks like he said early and, and got himself in a real rhythm. <laughs> oh. You know, it's funny, and these guys would tell you, you know, my, my goal for this season is, you know, I'm a new coach, and I was just getting to know these guys when I got here, and we wanted to become our best. You know, whatever that is, is take this group of guys and figure out, you know, we didn't set any limits or anything. We just wanted to find a way to become our best version of ourselves. And you know what? To these guys, I think we're becoming that. You know, we've had our ups and downs, but we've really had some success, and these guys have come together, and we're playing meaningful games right now, you know, at the end of February and have a chance to in March, and, and that's what you live for. And so um, I think that's our goal, and, and, and we've done that, and we're just going to play the next game. And, and uh, um, But, hey, we're playing meaningful games, and, and that's what it's all about. Any uh, questions? Yeah, I mean, obviously – for us seniors and our upperclassmen, uh, we've obviously been through ups and downs. But I think the biggest thing to start the season was just staying together and us not trying to separate. Uh, we all came in and decided this was going to be our senior year. Um, we're going to come together as a, as a group and as a team and give it our best. And I think as the season's grown on, we, we're continuing to find our best basketball and our confidence is growing. And we all know this is, one, is our last go around. So we're, we're going to go out there and constantly be reminded of that. And it's going to push us even more. And I think. Um, that was a huge part of it. I kind of told the guys in the second half too, like, yeah, this was our second last home game. Like, you don't get many opportunities like this, so it's just, why not give it our all and let's just push forward.